Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first look at Stonehearth. So Stonehearth is, uh, how do you describe it? It's like kind of like one of those town games. You build a town, you have people that are in the town, and you, you, you know they have different jobs and work and things like that, and you grow your ta- town, and they, they survive and struggle. And Of course, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, I believe Stonehearth, though, is more unique in the sense that I think it uses like more voxel technology in a sense where it allows you to kind of customize and build things a lot more, which is kind of interesting, which might mean I'm probably going to fail at building things more. But uh, yeah, we'll check it out anyway, so... This is a story of a brave band of settlers. So there you go. So ideal for new players. And okay, so here you go. Uh, earnest and hardworking, loyal and well-rounded citizens. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, so you get to select a biome. So you can be Arctic, Desert, or Temperate. And it says favored. So I assume, you know, conditions living there are a little bit better. Okay. So you can do peaceful, normal, and hard. So sandbox mode where you're free to build your town without worrying about invaders whatsoever. So it says sandbox mode, but it's kind of a little confusing because does that mean that they're like everything's free or you know what I mean? It kind of makes it sound a bit, you know, weird. Adventure forth, uh, the town will be subject to raiding enemies. I think that sounds kind of cool. I don't know if we'll be able to see that in time for our, our little uh, first look here. So right off the bat, I guess you get to pick... Uh, oh, okay, customize your party. So this is your party, and you can re-roll them if you're not happy with their stats. So there's mine stats. So the ability to think uh, intellectually. A high mind stat allows uh, a, hearth, a hearthling. That's kind of cute. To quickly gas, uh, get grasp <laughs> uh, mental activities such as crafting and keep their head clear. And then you got body, um, so blah blah blah. Move a bit faster, attack harder, and live longer. And spirit, uh, stand strong against enemies and craft exceptionally things more often. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm gonna leave their stats as is. Well, most of them are pretty darn balanced, anyways. Here. You could re-roll them if you wanted to. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, I didn't even know. That's really cool. So then you can change like things like their hair color if you wanted to and their skin tone if you wanted to. Um, and then their hairstyle. Pretty cool. Okay, and then you can, you can change their names if you like to. I'm just going to keep them as is. It looks like you can lock them too. Uh, so I guess they don't get re-rolled or something like that. Oh, I just noticed there's these things here. Gluten. Courageous. That's kind of cool. Hothead. Huh. Okay, select your starting resources. So you can either start with these resources, this one, or this one. Food for days. I'm going to go for food for days. And then you have your starting season. So it could be spring, summer. We'll go summer. Oh, and now you get to decide where you want to be. So I see trees planted. So more trees better, more minerals better. Oh, I see. So you want a really good balance of everything. Like that. Settle here. <laughs> I know that might be in a weird spot, but it, it seemed to have like the you know highest amount. Now, I don't know if it meant everything in that big, huge square or what, but uh, there you go. So uh, rotate your camera. Cool. Zoom in and out. And click the banner and choose your settlement location. Okay, so WASD works. So can we zoom out here? Oh, yeah. So in a sense, it looks like you could probably still go anywhere you want. Oh, no, no, no. It's only that tiles revealed, I think. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. So can you expand further over time, or is that it? I think that might be actually it. Interesting. So let's bring... These are like maybe old abandoned ones. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, I'll click somewhere in the world. Oh, I see. So... Um, this is kind of cleared though, so I'm going to do it here. 
Wow, they're so tiny. I thought like, damn. Uh, initial supplies. Okay, so if you're going to get this town off the ground, we'll need wood and lots of it. Chop down some nearby. So uh, the harvest menu. Okay, so we're going to go to this harvest menu. And we're going to gather and then click and drag to harvest. Oh, okay, so you're going to tell them where to to do it, basically. Oh, I see. So can I... Hmm. I couldn't expand it the one way. So let's see if I can do it like this. Oh, no, there's a... Oh, okay, there's a limit on it. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm learning these things. Are you actually harvesting the tiny pieces of wood here? <laughs> Mining, custom, loot, destroy... I mean, if they're doing their job, I guess is good. I, I feel like that's not what I meant to harvest. Like, this is like, I got them harvesting berries instead or something silly. Ah, here we go. Right click to exit this mode. Okay, there you go. So what are they doing right now? It says they're, they're har oh. A strange, an odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak, stamped with the official seal of the ancestor. See, the bird also carries a name tag which reads, Harold. Harold. Okay, so this is Harold the bird. So we can open the letter. Dear Expedition 63, hope this letter finds you. By well, my guess, you've likely set up a camp by now as your capital uh, liaison. It's my honor to preside remotely over the official uh, founding of your outpost. Uh, I truly, or I trust that you'll had ample time to choose your name and your journey. Foundings. So basically, every new settlement must choose a banner. This banner reflects on your spirit. Okay. And uh, hold in your mind and vision. The town will one day be... Your banner will set that course. Okay, so you get to sh you gotta choose a banner. So I guess we just click it and customize it. No, that moves it. Oh, here it go. So we can call it Stone Legion for fun. And oh, here you go. So trees produce twenty five percent more wood. Plants and crops. Hmm. Roads give three percent bonus. Fifty percent more mining. I'll go with this one. And there you go. Oh, everyone got happy. Oh, there's the bird, by the way. Outpost established. There you go. Yay, fireworks. Or magical fireworks. Guess these guys don't probably have the firework technology. Oh, they have confetti. Guess they're not that low tech, huh? Okay, so, yeah, we wanted them to, you know, do their job and cut things down, and they did get food. But the problem here is we kind of screwed up the tutorial, maybe. Uh, initial supplies. If you're going to get uh, this town off the ground, we'll need uh, wood, lots of it. Okay. So here's the problem. I told them to get wood, but then they didn't get the wood, and then they did this and because I screwed up on that. So let's attempt to harvest wood again. Because no one in this town seems to listen to me. Okay. See, they're waiting on something. But I don't know if they know what they're waiting on. Because they're idle. So it's like, is this because everything's full? Or what does that mean? Um, let's check what's going on here. Initial supplies... Okay, so we're going to have to play around with that. I clearly screwed up things. And what does the bird want? Uh, before the bird is wearing a tiny back, a little something to help you. So cornbread, peasant bread, and roast sausage. Ooh. Oh, see, it went over here. Designated zones. Stockpile. I wonder. Okay. That is making a bit more sense now. There we have it. Okay, so you need to have uh, a stockpile. Um, 
for everything to sit in. And if you don't, then I guess you have issues. <laughs> so once they stockpile that, they'll probably work their way up here. Oh, you know one of the issues I just realized? You know why they probably aren't cutting those trees down? They can't get up there. Like, how the heck would they get up there? They're not magical. They're not going to fly up there. Let's cancel all the tasks up here. That is probably exactly why they couldn't get up there. Derp, derp, derp. Look at that. Learning as we go here. That's why it's a first look, by the way. This is, uh, you know, the seat of my pants doing a bad job, but uh, there you go. But then again, it does show you that, you know, as a tutorial, it, m it might have been nice that it told me that. Like, kind of like, oh, they can't climb up there, and then maybe you need to make a ladder, or maybe they suggest one on the same level. Um, just a tip out there. So, congratulations, you got some wood resources now. Logs and other natural resources can be used to construct buildings and craft items. They're the first building blocks to, to advancing your town. Awesome. We like that. And you can go a little faster here, too. What key is that? Key... Two, it says we have logs in a place to store goods but the town is looking pretty empty fortunately we brought some uh brought us all along let's uh promote a citizen to a carpenter so we're going to open the citizen menu here and choose a citizen to promote so i think it was the first one high mind stat quickly grasp such as crafting yeah so i'm thinking this might be it okay and then we're gonna do what click to change job ah here we go dedicated carpenter that's kind of adorable to be honest okay so we have a we have a dedicated dedicated carpenter oh look at all the trees we took out our carpenter needs a crafting station in order to craft items for the town let's make a workstation so we're going to go over to the crafter we're going to whoa we're going to make the craft station here and that's kind of cool and click the craft so you got all the different tools that's crazy to think all the things you can make this is your workbench then these are little tools i guess and things like that so craft hit x window where are you up there oh i think uh there you go now that you've crafted the workbench you need to place it for the carpenter to use okay open this menu and place it okay so you're going to do place down and then place an item. And then, oh, I guess this will show you what you have, basically. So here's your carpenter bench. So probably the carpenter bench is probably good to have out here, right? Just outside of your uh, stockpile. <laughs> there you go. Anyone can place it. You've got resources. Uh, a place to store goods and a way to craft items. Uh, we're on our way getting this settlement off the ground. Okay. So I guess you can craft, but I'm wondering if they're going to tell us what to do next here. Isn't that crazy, though? Look at all the wood there. <laughs> I love this. And they picked up acorns, which you can plant them, I guess. Can be planted to uh, grow a giant seed. So place the item. So holy crap, that is huge. Wow. That is really big. That's what she said. Um, wonder when you're too close to something. I don't know really, but okay, we'll do that for now. So eventually, those will actually grow. Can be planted to grow a mere food supply. What? A meager food supply. What is it, though? Berry bush seed. Oh, berry bush seed. So kind of like one of these, maybe? Yeah, that's a berry bush as well. Okay. We're on our way to something, anyways. Okay, so town info. So let's we'll see what else we can do here. We're not getting anything to come up anymore, so let's, let's just do things ourselves. Appeal. Okay, so we got the place item. You can have a construct the ladder, by the way. Uh, to click the manually ladder to access hard to reach area. So you can click a ladder. Oh, that is so cool. So we want to go up here probably eventually, right? So the way you want to do this is just, there you go. <laughs> that is cool. And I guess this guy's going to do that. Yep. Cool. So now they can get up there if they needed to easily. 
Uh, daily update. Oh, look at this. So food. Ooh, net worth. This is not good. So the roads remain empty. Maybe tomorrow. So immigration report. Day five. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so our population hasn't grown, of course. We have lots of food. So we're good there, I guess. Our net worth is very low. Uh, estimated value of your town, collected items, etc. Okay, so gold and build buildings to increase. Okay. So let's figure out how we to build even a friggin' building, honestly. So here's this thing. Workshop. Oh, boy. That scared me. Uh, weaver's tools, wooden practice swords, small crate, log pile. Building uh, building parts, furniture. I feel like you should be able to build an entire home. What is this? This is your town overview. So your overview, all your inventory, which is cool. So you have 208 logs in our stockpile probably. Your journal, your bonuses. And then, of course, your citizens. And design and build. Okay, so here's your building stuff. And this is the part where I'm going to probably fail because unless if I can have a home built for me, design and build, yeah. Okay, well, we'll attempt this. Rooms, wall, split wall. So I guess we can try this and see how it works out. Okay, what about like a door? I think you might have to. Here you go. What about a door now? Door. Oh, here you go. Oh, actually, you can put it in, I guess, in the wall like this. Okay, well, if that works, then let's go back to this and put this back here. And we'll go to that door and put it like right here. Okay. I think we're doing our things okay. And then what about a floor? Uh, decoration. You got windows you can put in. So just a wide window frame. There you go. Who knows? I'm not even putting them nice and even or anything like that. Just kind of throwing them around. So our cost is pretty low still. And then we need to put a roof on our house, I guess. So um, what about the flooring? Roads, holes, split walls, walls, rooms. So rooms is something we have already, you know, in a sense. Like this is a room. Oh, I see. Room makes like the whole thing, huh? So a split wall. I don't know what a split wall means, but I feel like we can just do something like this instead. There you go. And then we can go and put another door in, I guess, here. Um, where did we find that door, my friends? Here you go. Doors. And I guess over time you'll unlock new doors, maybe. There you go. And then we need to get a roof on this, Papa. There you go. I guess and that's on there. Okay. Heck, I made my first house, it looks like. And blocks. I still don't know how, like... Oh, I see. I, I still don't know how you put a floor in, honestly, but... Um... I'm thinking the floor is something you work on first, maybe. Oh, this is a holes. Holes. Okay, let's try the blocks here. Okay. What is that? A race, I guess. There you go. We'll leave it as is for now. Okay, so is that it? Can we say build? Okay, so it'll cost 16 wood and nine chairs. We can save the building.
Okay, and you can see that that's what our building looks like. So if we get out of this, hopefully, um, yeah, we can get out of this, and then we can see how this goes. So they're building it, which they're rapidly building, actually, which is pretty cool. Now, what are you building? You're building whatever is needed, right? What is that? Is that a door frame, or what was that? Oh, I didn't actually want to see that. Oh, w window frame. Oh, okay. So those those parts that it tells you it needs to make, that makes sense. Those weren't those weren't actual. Those are just pieces of whatever, I guess. Oh, here you go. Open it up. So it needs seven window frames and two door frames. Sorry, so two windows. Sorry, seven windows, uh, two doors, and twelve logs. That makes sense. So if we speed this up a wee bit, these guys will. March here, and then you can fill this with beds later on too, right? So we'll, we'll let it finish first, and then they'll do their thing. Oh, everyone's having a nap. <laughs> well, I don't blame them. They're probably tired. Does it say what their health is like anyways, or their sleeping? Character sheet here. So, oh wow, they have a lot of information here, so... They seem content, or that one seems content. Oh, somebody's building. But sleeping on the ground can't be too healthy on somebody's back. Slept on the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, here, it's showing you all the different attribute things. So I think everything gives you, like, it affects this, all this, the morale. So ugly aesthetics give you negative eight. Sleeping on the ground gives you negative six. Lack of safety is negative four. So, like... Sleeping in a home eventually would hopefully give them more, you know, but then they might get angry and say, oh, we don't have a lot of privacy or something, you know. So you gotta, you gotta do a balance anyways. Okay, so today was cloudy. Tomorrow, partial showers. Plant growth speed will increase. Vision radius uh, is only slightly reduced. That's kind of cool. What is this thing? Oh, this is just your... Oh, this is your menu and stuff. Okay. Okay. So they're doing pretty good here. I think they're pretty much almost finished. So we can go ahead and move items, uh, workshop... So we can go here and say, let's make a few things for the home, maybe uh, some beds or something. So here you go, a bed. Um, craft. And you can set the number here. Oh, yeah, here. One, two. Th we have five total, right? So we can tell it to craft five beds. There you go. And when they finish their task over here, if that's one of these, are probably her, right? No? Hmm. Is she actually trapped? She is the carpenter. It says she has nothing to do. Or was she waiting on somebody else to bring something at the time? Somebody's hungry. Well, I hope they're smart enough to eat, right? Because we got food over here, I assume. Oh, it's raining. Well, the good news is they'll soon have a home, hopefully, here. Oh, somebody's eating. Okay, so unfortunately the rain means they're probably going to be, uh, ooh, level 2 carpenter. So I think level 2 means she could build more things too. Because I think what I was figuring is that it's based on, uh, you know, levels. Yeah, I think we just unlocked a bunch more things here. So if you click here, does it say what level you need for this? Oh, yeah, crap. crap. I just said crapenter 3. No, cra crafter 3. Carpenter 3. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, so they, they she's unlocked new things now because of that. That's really cool. And they're all eating right now. From these time, day and night cycles, I think they eat really slow. <laughs> or we eat too fast in life. That's probably more what it is. Uh, daily notification, so... Ooh, a new seller like to join your town, except 
Ooh, I see. So you, if you hit that, then I guess new people will join. So we, we have a new person in town. Okay, so let's go ahead and place some items down. So we got some beds here. And holy crap. Oh, is that like a temporary scaffolding? Oh, I just realized that I think that's scaffolding. So we should probably wait till uh, we're done here first. That kind of makes sense. And it's really cool, actually, that they have like a scaffolding type system here. Because I wanted to place the beds in there, but I'm like, eh, I might get in the way now if I think about it. Uh, let's see. Workshop. What else can we make in here? You want some stuff that makes it nice, I guess? Appealing inside, I guess? Oh. Oh, no. I don't even know what to do about that. What do you do when invaders exist? Oh, they're fighting now. I don't know with what, like hammers or something, but... So you can see their little hearts there. Ours look like they're going to be okay, though. It looks like if we didn't click that button, though, we might have died. Because uh, our guys were kind of sitting around not doing much. So I think they would just let them hit them. But... Okay. I think we're good. And then you just go back to normal mode. So we got a notice here. Oh, that's the new the new person. Okay, so back to work maybe, or I, I actually don't know like how to tell them to get back to work. Honestly, so they're engaged in combat, but combat's over. So I don't know what to say here. I, I'm not sure what's going on here, my friends. God, it showed a picture of me? Ooh, no one wants to see that. Oh, that's so confusing. So you gotta click that again. Oh man, I think I just clicked this and didn't click that, but there should have been like, um, oh, I, I got confused on there. I guess there needs to be like a, maybe a peace icon or something, just letting you know like, oh, it's it's peaceful, everything's fine now kind of thing, but that threw me off so much there. Oh, look at that. I think they're done. That's so f cute because they got extra wood on there and I guess mostly due to the fact that the, the, the whole combat stuff happened right so it looks like they're still finishing a few things outside and then I'll pick up the blocks from the roof I see There you go. I'm interested if we'll see them do anything here before. Oh my god. He just snapped out. There you go. Yeah, it looks like they're about to all get knocked out. Yep, and there you go. So there you guys have it. Anyways, that's our first look at Stone Hearth. I've never played this game ever, never tried it. 
you know, my first looks are basically the idea of, you know, I know the basics. I know it was a town builder and I've played a town builder before, so I'm not completely helpless. But at the same time, um, you know, I do play as a helpless person. I've never tried it. You know, that's that, that's the kind of the first look idea of uh, what I do on this channel. And so, uh, you know, we didn't do too bad. I'm sure some people out there are like, oh, this was so horrible. But at the same time might be some good advice for the developers. You probably saw a couple of things that a new player can get easily confused at. Um, when combat happens, honestly, they probably should have told you about the combat and hitting this. But at the same time, I feel like there should be a toggle slash untoggle icon to show you to get out of like the uh, the the combat because that kind of threw me off. Uh, there was a couple other things at the beginning that threw me off there too. I forget what it was now. Um, I don't think it told me how to build this part here, which was a wee bit confusing, but it wasn't necessary because they were going to just pile things around here. Um, I guess the ladder to get up here, so maybe if you try to get something they can't reach, maybe a little quick tutorial to tell you, you know, oh, you need a ladder or something there. But in the end, you know, I figured and solved a lot of these out myself. But as a 100% brand new player to the game, of course, you can see some things would make me a little more confused. But it's not like things I didn't figure out on my own either, right? So uh, either way, they're pretty fun little game here. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this series, and the, you know, there's a lot of people who are watching and like it and comment saying they want me to play it i will actually do a full out series on it uh down the road if that's something people want uh either way thank you guys and girls so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye